So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to come here this afternoon. Uh, my name is Sachiko Kondo uh, from East Asian Studies Department. And uh, we are so honored to have two wonderful guests here at Oberlin College campus today. Um, this is Professor Hatasa from Purdue University, and this is Ms. Shigeko Sasamori. Uh, so the format of today's um, event will be as follows. So Ms. Sasamori um, and Professor Hatasa will tell you about um, how she uh, grew up and also then talk about um, her experience uh, with the bombing on August 6th of uh, 1945 in Hiroshima and then um, also her life thereafter. Um, it'll probably take about um, half hour in total to tell you about the story, and we'll have time to um, have some cute question and answer session after. Um, so I'd like to uh, take a moment to thank the uh, sponsors of this event, uh, the Mellon Language Grant, and also um, for East Asian Studies. Um, and I just want to uh, remind all of you to please silence your cell phone. I'm going to do it right now so that we can all focus on their stories. Um, it will be very much appreciated. Without further ado, please welcome Professor Hatasa and Ms. Sasamori.
After the uh, after the movie, we we'll go to the uh, restaurant. That restaurant is not Japanese restaurant, more like a European restaurant called Seiyo Ken. Same in the uh, Western. Yeah. Uh, so not the Japanese food. So we we uh, children stay on my father, mother, and other people, friend or family. Yeah. My sister, all the sisters made menu to say, you take omelets or you take this and every time you go there, she orders. I wish when I get an order faster, then I can order myself. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, uh, not every day is food because it's only once a week for the uh, not Japanese food. Those things are most never forget it for we are looking forward every weekend. And uh, one time my sister finally said, Tom, Tom Stu. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I have to remember him. Tan stew. Beef, beef, and stew. Tan stew. Was tender and delicious. So, uh, my brother, two years younger than me, and we are young, and so couldn't say tan stew. We say tan chu, tan chu. I never forget that. No, I say, I was a tan chu. It's like that. That is the most memorable. Of course, so many there. I still live a few things and more things. But that is the never, never forgot. Thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to show the sort of normality prior to the incident. Now, uh, leading to uh, 1945. Next one. This is the uh, illustration of Hiroshima. Uh, before war time, before uh, during, uh, before the A bomb, full of houses, fairly crowded, uh, condensed city. But, uh, yeah, then that red dark, red circle is the full shape of a uh, now known as a A bomb doll. And then we'll go back to that one later. But just I wanted to remember these two sort of why. Two, two rivers come together and then uh, the bridge there. And then this is the building, the way the A-bomb. So only the dome part is now left. And, but this is the full, full building, how it, how it looks. Okay, then these two, just for the last year, not to So 1945, summer. What were you doing? All August or six? The particular day, August 6, 1945. Uh, the first time my school, but uh, every day different school mobilized to come to the city. <clears throat> and I, you see the house was so crowded. And that the time Hiroshima city, not the bomb, the fire bomb, the, but Tokyo, Osaka already the bombs. So sooner or later, Hiroshima may have one. So city asked the people, women, old men, to, to break the house to make a fire escape in case of the fire bombs. Because the house too crowded, as you see. The, after they broke the house, the school student, junior high to high school, uh, after the high school graduate, the college and uh, junior college, all the people go outside the city to the fixing uh, army soldiers clothes, cook and sewing or do make work, something like that. So we are young one in the city to clean up. So that the first day my school go there. So. <clears throat> that morning, 
everybody gather, ate the pork, then we were hung up in the office. Said, now everybody started. That was the cross at 30. The bomb dropped at the age of 15. Just I was studying it, then I heard the airplane. And I look back, I saw it. <coughs> Hiroshima City that day, very hot day, beautiful blue, deep blue sky, no cloud, beautiful sky. Then I saw that the airplane was a silver, the silver airplane had a white long tail and a cloud. So looks beautiful. I said to my classmate. Look, look over there, beautiful airplane. I was sort of a center, spontaneous, pointed. Then I saw white things coming down. That was the radar I heard the parachute. They didn't want to, the airplane was sort of a process of dropping. They don't expose probably. They told me that way. Parachute, then exposed in the air. Then airplane gone. But same time I saw white things and not to be done. I remember I'm going like this, then I don't know anymore. I didn't remember anything. And that force is not just strong wind. Much, much stronger, I mean, I'm sure I was throwing up. Then, long time probably I was unconscious. Then when I conscious back and then look around and couldn't see anything, pitch black. Then for a while, I don't hear anything, I don't feel anything, I just black things. Then, I came to my mind was a fire bomb dropped the nearby. That's I saw. That's why small and pretty soon you know, very heavy uh, fog to go away slowly then you can be able to see. Like that. The blackness go away, I can able to see up the looking right there. It's still not feeling, not hearing anything. Then first thing I saw was the people moving slowly. And some people had a hanging their clothes, and some people no clothes, and the mix of people was slowly moving. Then I was very close at the river right there. The red spot. By the time I got to the river with those people, signs more clear. I can see hot sunny day again, and then they just step down to the river. Many people were down there, and I will follow. And they push, sort of, everybody pushing like this, going down. Then I saw the. Oh, the people, many, many, no place to sit in the sun and uh, already die, lie down or sitting down. Everybody, not normal. The her and the skin came out, probably the burn. After the stuff of the skin came out, the tissue, the pink, because of bleeding or something, looked like everybody. People, a red people, lying down or sitting up or no, but I didn't hear anything. Quiet. Then put us near the water, the edge. The people started getting in there, but I didn't want to go because the face was already in the water like this, and then, no, I cannot see even water because so many people floating in there. Then that was a very big river, 
the center. I can see the head all going slowing down to the ocean. We have close up the ocean. Going. I, that's the time I felt I don't want to go. I push back. Then I all of a sudden I heard the baby screaming. But her the baby is hurt and the bleeding and she tried to nurse the baby, people screaming. Then I can walk what I feel a little bit. Hear people talking, but no one screaming, no one crying, no one yakking. Yes, the some man said, go over the bridge. In Japan all the time I put the bridge in the nearby there. So we the other time. But they told the people to go and go and have a better safety place. I just followed them, walked from there to about one mile away. I just don't know the direction, nothing, because they are adult. I'm behind them, just walking, walking. Then everybody went to the it uh, went to school at the time. And by the time I got there, the Japanese soldiers uh, helping uh, the people. Everybody on the ground and all over. So I saw the big tree, under the tree, I just sat down, then fell down. That's it. I couldn't see anymore. I don't know when, who, Put me into auditorium. Sure. Let me just recast that part. Mm -hmm. On the day, in the morning, uh, they were gathered at the location in Red Dot, and that was not the school location, that was actually a work location to clean up a debris from a selective demolition to create a fire lane. And so there was no regular schooling uh, was happening back, back then already. And then so she saw the, the silver object and the white thing, and then that's how she described it. And from what I gathered from her, she was blown away, uh, then knocked unconscious. When she came to, it's probably early afternoon. So about three, four, four hours or so, she was unconscious. And then she came to, and then she started singing pitch black, and then start seeing the adults walking, like those, the horrific ones. And so following that, the red, dot, red line, and then crossing the river, and then turn, then ended up going to that green dot where, the, where an elementary school was. And that's, again, she collapsed. And that's the day one. And that's probably middle of afternoon or late afternoon sometime. I don't know what time it was. That okay. kind of call, uh, I even didn't know what to go on. I get the fire bomb dropped the so I feel. So no so no why to any I I see I didn't hear. I don't feel nothing. I didn't know it. I just see the people I just what? Oh you know, many people on the ground already like that. Probably I was unconscious a long time. So my classmates, uh, they are not, they are what? Gone. So, yes, uh, so, yes, 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 40 or 50 people. 40, okay. So there was a the crowd of about 40 or 50 people in that room. About then, school, uh -huh. over 20, 200. 200. So over 200 then, school crowd class. The back then, that to, I got to see that he was some of those that you are. I don't see. Didn't see anybody no, around you. No. So you were and the only. And the people who were walking across my front, those have people are still some crowd hanging. I, later I saw, and uh, later many people talking about what happened that day. I gather that those people are probably not close at the center, under the house. So they can able to come out. That's why the person who outside 
hurt and they ran to the near the uh, river because they are hot, they wanted the water. Judgment, yeah. So this, the map is at the hypocenter, and that's where the explosion happened. She was there less than a mile, so it's a one kilometer. And it, basically, that, that area, so this pink area, is gone. Uh, that's, that's how it uh, extends to the black one. Um, so it is very miraculous that she survived um, in that close range. Uh, okay. The, the, Meanwhile, those, those pink, pink uh, color mm. that shows after burned, it is bomb didn't burn at once whole city. No, center yes, but later the house was flat down, and the morning still some people still breakfast making and cooking. And all the time, they cook for the wood and the fire thing to cook. So still heat there, fire. Those heat, of the houses are starting to burn. That's why my mother, she was under the house, and then that happened. <laughs> Same area after the explosion, the A bomb dome probably is here. At the Imam, you got it. No. So, you eat a cut and a lot. You can eat it and a lot. Jumbani. They are not on the map. Okay, the after day one. <laughs> Meanwhile, so, her family, mother and the father were there and safe. And she goes missing. They start looking for her immediately. And how many days? I was staying that auditorium. I was talking. For five days. Five days to four nights. And I was keeping the saying my name and the address. And the police and I went a week, in the middle of week. She said, one more time, I said, somebody give me water. My name, my parents come, come to see me. In you know, wishing, that fifth day, evening, a man went to my father's house. Because all the houses were burned and nothing was breaking down. My father's house was miracle standard. Then, because they crossed to the river, other side of the river. So, anyway, so they can see way down to the, my house, all the burn out. So he went there, and then my father was doing the give of paper. This person, the bomb, survived. So that is the right amount. <laughs> 